one I'm going to show you how to do a two-point doghouse. It could also be the start of a covered bridge. So I'll draw a little bit of both for you to understand how to do them. You'll need some type of straight edge, so a ruler, or if this is just a piece of poster board that's cut with straight edges, and then a pencil and eraser. I will also be doing some and just a little bit of a color for you to understand the placement of things, but you just need to use pencil most likely unless you want to draw on ink. So I've also started mapping this out for you to understand where I'm going with things. So you will start out, and it could be in the center of your page, mine's up above center just a little bit, and I'm working on computer paper. So I'm going to draw a line that would be my horizon line. This would then be getting erased because this is where our doghouse or bridge is going to be. So it's going to be getting covered up. So I'm just going to erase what would be the center. But why I went ahead and drew this line is because then we would put in our dot on the left and our dot on the left, but it needs to be on this horizon line when we're doing it. Also, I've also started doing what is the floor or the bottom of our building. But what I'm gonna start with first is a vertical line. So then I know everything will go to the right or is going to go to the left. So what I'm gonna do, just so you can see as I'm going through everything, I'm just gonna do this as a highlight so you understand what I'm working with. I'm also going to just highlight the vanishing points so you're understanding when I'm going back and forth. Label this one with an R here for us and then this one with an L so we know it's right and left. Then what I'm going to do, and this will be getting erased some of it, I'm going to be like, okay, how far do I want my building to go out? And also I have already planned ahead knowing I want the opening part to be here and then this would be the side of the building. So it's like this would be the face and this would be the side. So this one I'm going to have a little bit longer so what I would do is draw another vertical line and then this one's going to be a little bit smaller than what this one is so I would draw another vertical line. And part of this would be getting erased but what I'm going to do just as to see right here, had to grab my highlighter, is highlight those so you know what I'm going back and forth to. So I'm going to then be like, okay, how far down do I want this to go from the horizon line? So I have decided right here, and then I would go over to establish the bottom over here. So once I have that part, what I'm going to do next is go, how far up do I want my square to be? Because when we would start our regular buildings, remember we started with a square and then a triangle on top. So we're still going to do that first. So we need our square or rectangle, which we're making it a cube because we're making it 3D now. I'm gonna have it, so remember this is the horizon line. I'm gonna have it up a little bit above the horizon line. So what I'm doing is working on that middle line because that's our axis line of like, is it on the right or is it on the left side? So what I'm gonna do is line that up to the left and then I'm going to draw it back. And when I get to that line that's showing it's the side of the building where it stops, I'm just gonna stop right now. Then I'm going to do the right side, and some of these will be getting erased, but we have to get them started. So draw, draw your things slightly so you can erase them later if you need to. So I have my square. What I need to do is start what would be the triangle part of this. So on something like this, I'm gonna find where halfway would be. So I made already a guided line for you to see, but it would be going up, and I want it to go up above our square because we're going to be making the triangle part that says our top. So I'm going to be making that and make a dot. So from that, I'm going to go a little bit past here and a little bit past that part because we want that overhang for our building. you'll know 
notice it is a steep pitch, but it's because of the way we have it angled. So now what I'm gonna do is line this top point up to our left side because we need to continue with our rip. And it is not a straight line right there. What we need to do is our parallel line but what I'm going to do first is where I stopped here, I'm going to line that up to my left side and draw a line. I'm going to go ahead and erase that so I'm not seeing it anymore. So I'm going to take my ruler, line it up to that part of the triangle that we drew. I'm going to slide it back so it stays parallel. And then I feel that's a little bit too much, so I'm going to bring it in. That looks a little bit better right there. And then I'm going to erase those extra lines that I don't need anymore also. So now I have the start of, it could be a regular house that we're drawing. It could be a dog house, it could be a barn, but it also could be a covered bridge. So this is the start of any of those. But what we're gonna do is continue working on what would be some siding for our dog house because I did say we were gonna start a dog house. So I'm gonna mark, and you have to think, do you want the horizontal siding? So it'd be getting angled like this, or do you want your vertical? So it'd be vertical this way. And I'll just do a couple so you can see which way that it would go. So for what would be the lay, say it's laying down like this, I'm gonna make my guidelines on both sides. And keeping the space the same. So now I take that to my left side, so I'm gonna work on the left side here. And I would then just draw my lines back, staying only on what is the building. And then if this one only goes a little bit, that's fine because remember, the roof would be blocking it. Then I'm going to go over here and do the same thing. What I'm still gonna do is look at the spacing I had here. So I'd have one right here, probably about there, there, and there. And these are gonna get rather steep as I start drawing them upwards. So notice all these I'm doing to that right vanishing point. Let's see how steep that gets. So this would still be as if we were doing a regular house and everything. What I usually do is just draw in the arch first, but I was leaving it so you could see how the siding would be done on this. One thing that I'm just gonna do is that parallel line part for the roof right here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then erase this. So I left a bigger space in here, so this is up against the building itself. And now we can see where the roof would be hanging over. So I'll straight that in so you can see it a little bit. And then I'm just gonna thicken this up here. So what I was talking about earlier is we would have our arch for our dog to go in. So you can decide, do you want to have it as an arch like this, or do you want your dog's opening to be like that? So if it's this, you're just going to draw a straight line up and 
a straight line up, so these are our vertical lines, and decide how tall you want your opening to be. So it would be one of these lines that we already drew the side. So then you have to just erase that. If you want one that's arch, so I went up and gave myself a little guideline earlier so you could see, I would arch that. And remember, you want some space here so you have your doll kitten still some shelter. And then arch it over here. And you have your arch started. You're going to then take your eraser and erase the inside. What I'm going to do is draw right here just a little bit more of a step because we have that lumber that would be the bottom of the floor. So I have the floor started and I have this arch. I'm going to go to this corner right here. Not the corner of this, but the corner of the building. I'm going to go to the opposite side and only draw in right there. So this would continue here. So now I have a floor and this is a wall of my doghouse. So what I'm going to do for the floor is draw a few vertical lines right here. So this is showing the start, kind of like our sidewalk if, when we draw sidewalks. It is that little piece of wood or your step down. So here's your land, here's the floor part. So I drew these as vertical lines. Now go back to the opposite side's vanishing point and only draw in the inside. I'm not going to continue through the whole building again. Only draw what you would be seeing for the floor. So you would also be doing this for a covered bridge. This would be the part you would be driving on, those floor planks. Then there's a whole bunch of space between what would be the very corner wall part. So I'm going to do just one in between. And now I have my floor started. So you can t do our lines going to the vanishing point over here. Some people just like making these vertical. It's kind of up to you what you're choosing, but you would see like that angle of the roof starting also, because remember we had that here. So then the pitch of the roof changes. So then you would start seeing it like that. So these could be going back to the left side or they could be vertical. So also the outside, you could make them vertical if you wanted like that, but then they would be vertical here. So it's kind of your choice which way you would decide. I usually see a lot of them where they're just having them that way because when we're building something, it's easier to lay the pieces of wood down that way. So for the roof, I'm going to just change and draw some red lines here so it's a little bit easier to see to start with. So what I like doing to make sure my shingles of the roof are all the same, I like making little dots to plan out so you could always grab if you had a ruler, be like, okay, from here to here, it's like five and a half. So every so many, you know, centimeters, if it's right on six inches or six centimeters, that'd be every centimeter, or you can just kind of eyeball it. But what I'm doing by putting these dots here, they look like the start of Christmas lights, which they are not. And then you'd have that one at the top. We already drew those lines. So all these are going to the left side. And I'm just going to draw them in red so you can see. So all these go always to the opposite side. And as they get back towards the vanishing point, they are going to be a lot smaller. So you can see how the spacing got a lot smaller. 
and to get you started, I'll change here. And we want to make sure we're doing them with lines that are parallel to that original angle of the triangle. So start with a number one, skip. On number three, skip. And then continue the rest of the way. Then I'm gonna slide the ruler back the same space. Now I'm gonna be on number two, skip number three, number four, number six, and then so on. And then I'm gonna go back to that same spacing, go back to number one. So we're just alternating. And that's how you would start the shingles. So on that, if you would happen to do them just vertical here, like when we would be drawing in our bricks normally, we make vertical lines. This, they need angled or they're gonna look like, there's something wrong with my roof and I'm not for sure what it is. It's because you need to line your ruler up to this and keep going parallel backwards. If we did have here, say we needed to change up like a piece of siding or something, or you were doing bricks or something, that's when you would start putting your vertical lines in again. So, what I'm also going to have us do is I'm going to draw a little vertical line right here and a little vertical line right here. I'm still using my guidelines I had up here. And now I have a sign and I can just write the word dog here because this is my dog's name is dog. So give a little sign there for your dog. What we could also then do is think of this as if it's not a dog house and it would be a covered bridge. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab a couple of colors here and I'm going to start drawing in what would be our road to start with and then we have a few other things I'm going to add in so you can see a two-point covered bridge. So I'm going to start with first where would my road be? Say this was not saying dog up here. My road's going to be going through the covered bridge. So I need it to go to this vanishing point here. My road is going to be in between that edge of the building and then where the doorway would be. And the same here. So I'm just making myself some guidelines. Now I'm gonna line that up to the vanishing point on the opposite side. But I'm going to draw out this way, off the page. And then I'm gonna skip through there and go to the vanishing point. So I have my road started. I'm going to do the same thing. Front and then the back. So you can see how small that road gets. And this would be the road. This could even, for if we were still doing the dog house, the dirt maybe for your dog. What we could also do, and I should have done when we were working on it, is make this, I forgot to add that extra line in right here. Only on this side, I'll fill it in, because we would have the thickness of the wood. I forgot to do that right there. Do that little part right there. So now we have our dirt but it's a covered bridge, so we don't have any water for it to be covering up, so we need to think of where that is. So I'm gonna grab my green just so you can see what I'm gonna do. So think of this as that little tiny part we started here. Our water's going to be going underneath the bridge this way, so we're gonna use everything to our right side here. But our bridge is not right at the very edge of the water is going to go inwards so I'm going to go inwards just with a couple lines here and I'm going to make them straight but we can make them wavy to show that you know the erosion of the dirt and everything so a 
at the bridge I'm gonna stop and then go just to the vanishing point then go to that one here and then go out this way okay this is the one line that needs to be shown for you're like I still don't get it so in between are two land lines not halfway I'm gonna go back just a little bit and from here I'm going to draw another line to the right vanishing point point. and if I would make this a little bit heavier for you to see and I'm just making it wavy now This is now for water. And what I'm going to do, just so it's a little bit easier to understand, I'm going to draw some vertical lines here. And then there'll be like little tiny ones back here. So this is the dirt. This is the water. So now we have, here would be your grass. Here would be the grass. And all this would be your grass area too. And back here would be that little tiny part. So this way you can understand how to do a doghouse or a covered bridge. And then this way you'd understand how to do a road and then like the water. Also, if you're doing a covered bridge, you would want to draw, and I'm gonna go back further, just a couple of different ways. You could draw a line like that, and then do a wavy line around it, and then do a third line right there and that would show like a post is holding it up if you want it to look more like a cylinder you would only do those two lines what I also like doing is just putting some of this in actually it's kind of filled in just an angle usually so it's like you can see there's a brace and then what I usually do is some of this would be getting covered up you'd see how there would be posts starting there. If you wanted, like some covered bridges do have windows. We already have the top and bottom of a window started. You would do a vertical line and a vertical line. We have the top and the bottom already started. You would take to the vanishing point, make just a little tiny line right there. Then do top, which is a vertical line, and to the bottom. And then we need that little bottom edge to show, which goes back to that left side. And now we have an opening. And depending on how the edge of your building, how far it back is going, you may see like a corner of it showing through, like that. So it could either be a doghouse, or the start of a cover bridge. Thank you for watching.